it's a fairly common occurrence, but people might see a foam forming towards the base of a tree. From oaks to pines, it could be deciduous or conifer trees. It happens shortly after or during a rainstorm, and this could be caused by a few different things. It could either mean a tree is in trouble, or it could be no big deal at all. Here's what you need to know. These bubbles are evidence of a crude soap that's forming before your very eyes. And to create soap molecules, we need just four basic elements. We need either a fat or an oil, an alkaline or a base, like salt, and water. And then finally, something to mix it all with. These soapy components, whether you realize it or not, are even readily available, simply drifting in the air. Dust includes acidic and alkaline particles, as well as tiny bits of salt, and tree bark has oils in it. So together, these are the building blocks of soap. When rain mixes the dust and the oil on the bark on the surface of a tree, a simple soap is created. As that soapy mixture flows down the rough bark of a tree, it gets agitated just like the detergent in your washing machine. The rough texture and surface of the tree trunk helps to mix up all these substances. They all start to bond chemically and create soap molecules. So by the time it gets to the bottom of the tree, it starts to collect as little patches of soapy foam. And that's what you're seeing. This tree here looks to be one of the tallest trees in this area. There's no other trees around crowding it. No other canopy blocking the rain. It has a lot of surface area. And the rainwater has done a lot of mixing and dissolving by the time it makes it to the bottom of the tree. So those two things seem to be important. A really big tree with surface area and a species of tree with really rough bark. This same phenomena can also be seen sometimes happening on a paved road during or after a quick rainstorm. The oil and the dust on the large surface area pavement combined with rain when the wheels of a passing car mix it up fast as it goes by, it might leave a line of little bubbles behind on the road. You might have seen that before. So that's the harmless kind of foam we're seeing. The other kind is a bacterial infection called slime flux. Bacteria is actually attacking an injured or a stressed tree, and it's starting to invade the wood. This causes a natural fermentation of the sap, creating carbon dioxide, and alcohol and pressure. Eventually the pressure forces the sap bubbles to start coming forth from the tree and as it rains that mixture runs down the bark of the tree and starts collecting towards the base. So that natural soap that we discussed in the beginning is for the most part odorless while flux has a beer-like fermented smell. That's how you can tell them apart. A stressed tree may just be one that's in drought and it needs to be watered more. So if, if this is occurring to trees in your yard, pay attention to if they're getting enough water and sunlight. They, it could just be something as simple as that. Otherwise, it's a very common disease, and although there's no real cure, in most cases, trees won't die specifically from this problem. So if you ever see tree foam after a rainstorm, you don't have anything to worry about. Just take pictures and blow bubbles. See you on the next one.